Welcome to this Windows 10 and computer. This is a top 10 of things that you should not do or do at least the least times possible because these are bad habits honestly uh, and I understand and will explain a few things about it and today's video has to do with clearing the browsing data and the browser cache and the browser information the cookies and everything a lot of you have the habit of doing this and uh, some of you use software like CCleaner that does that automatically some of you go to the browser settings and you know you'll go to your browser and once in the browser you'll go into the uh, the settings that will actually enable you to um, you know clear the data and everything and when that happens uh, what happens is that you actually will um, you know clear browsing data here for example uh, you will actually of course remove the um, information the the, the, the cookies and uh, you know you will remove some of the temporary pages that were loaded in your browser uh, and you might think it's a good thing and in some cases it might be in some cases it could fix problems in pages that are not loading correctly in some cases it might actually you know might want to stay a little more private or have more privacy when you're browsing uh, clearing the cache clearing the the cookies and stuff like that some you know c can give you some protection over you know snooping of what you do on the web but honestly it has a bad effect that um, you will see in the form of pages taking much longer to load of uh, going to websites and you got to sign in every time if you like to have auto sign in when you're on some of the pages um, you know there's a reason why the cache exists Unfortunately, yes, it, it is exploited uh, in a bad way with, you know, the scanning of cookies and stuff like that. But honestly, I never clear my cache of any browser. Why? Because that means every time I go to a web page, it is way quicker. Because that cache, that information stored in your browser, there's one reason why it's stored there. When you go to a web page, it actually looks at the page and if nothing has changed, it uses a local copy that is saved in your browser's data. That is a hundred times faster than going on the web and asking for a page again. So if you find that your browsing is a little sluggish, it might be if you do clean your data, all that data, and clear the cache of your browser all the time, it might have to do with that. Because now it has to ask every time for a new page from the web server. So you know, I, I get the fact that some people say, well, you know, it, apparently it's better and it's not necessarily better. And honestly, it doesn't really make you much more private because they still see what you're browsing and what you do. And unless you got some problems with your browser, because yes, sometimes you need to do it to make the browser back to normal again. Most of the time, it's better to leave it alone and will make your pages load much faster on the Internet. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.